Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover. I am Penge and welcome back to Mr. Prepper. And this is the full version of the game. It's not the alpha, it's not the beta, it's the full release version of Mr. Prepper. So there are no more barriers, there's no inaccessible bits, everything is available to us in the game. And I am very much looking forward to diving back into the tale of Mr. Prepper because we left it off last time at quite an interesting point and I want to know what happens past that point. If you haven't seen this on the channel before, which would surprise me because it has appeared a few times in various states of completion, then it is a part survival, part crafting and part exploration game where we play as Mr. Prepper himself who is preparing for the end of the world and there it is there, there is the end of the world, big exploded nuke thing kind of happening but Mr. Prepper over here, he's sitting as calm as anything because he's prepared, of course he is, the clue is in the name, he has prepared for this very eventuality I mean it looks like his preparations here mainly consist of soup it mainly consists of making loads of soup. But as anybody who's ever played a kind of post-apocalyptic survival game can tell you, soup is key. Soup is how you survive the situation. So there we go. He's got a lot of soup ready. The game is due to be released on the 18th of March. So later this week as I record this. But we have got our hands on it a little bit early, courtesy of the devs, which is wonderful. So thanks devs, very kind of you indeed. And of course, if you're interested, then there's a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below so you can check out the game and wishlist it and all that kind of stuff. So we will be starting afresh. We're going to be starting a brand new game of Mr. Prepper. The devs have said that we could have carried on from our previous save, but they couldn't guarantee that there wouldn't be any bugs with an old save from the beta version. So just to avoid any kind of issues later on, I don't want to kind of get right to the end of the game and then our save game from the beta version bug out and wipe everything. We're just going to start again. We're going to start again, brand new save, and we'll just go from there. So I think we're ready. Here we go. Let's go and rejoin our old friend, Mr. Prepper. Ever since the plague and the change of the government, this town has been unbearable lifeless, filled only with boredom, propaganda, and control. I've tried to escape, and I've failed this time. But I'll find a way. They call me Mr. Prepper. And here we go. So of course on the right here outside of his house is Mr. Prepper and this chappy here, he is an agent from the agency and the agent is saying, and we are back at your place of residence, citizen. For an attempted escape, we have confiscated your vehicle. This is standard procedure. So I assume what's just happened is we've just been returned to our house following our escape attempt that we made that we saw in the intro cinematic there. I assume that's what's just happened. Obviously, you are also prohibited from buying or registering a new one. The agency expresses hope that you will not attempt to leave Murrakaville again. I love the fact that it's called Murrakaville. I think that's very good. And then Mr. Prepper responds with, Oh, sure, now I plan to fall back in love with this beautiful town. Bit of sarcasm there, bit of scathing sarcasm. This is a commendable attitude, citizen. It was scathing sarcasm that this guy just didn't pick up on. From today onward, you are also on probation. I will come for a brief inspection regularly to check for any subversive actions or items. This is standard procedure. I'm sure you will comply. Absolutely we will. Of course we will. And my visits will only be a formality. Bless the president. And then Mr. Prepper says bless. And I think the agent goes away. Yeah, there we go. So here we go. So this is Mr. Prepper. And of course, this is Mr. Prepper's house. And if you've seen any of our videos on Mr. Prepper before, this will all look very, very familiar. Across the top here, just in case you haven't seen any of the previous videos on this game, we've got ourselves a couple of things up here that we need to look at. This is stamina. So of course, Mr. Prepper gets a bit tired. So he has to go and have lots of sleep. This thing here is health. This gets topped up by food. And this thing here is preparedness. So Mr. Prepper is very, very concerned about the end of the world and the end of all things. And he has to feel like he's prepared. He has to feel like he's doing something to prepare for the end of all things. So when he goes and crafts something, or if he makes food or whatever, or if he digs out a bit of underground bunker, then his preparedness will go up and he'll feel a lot better about life and the world in general. I think if this gets to nothing, I think it might be game over. I think it might be game over. Or we faint or something, I can't quite recall. But we don't want it to get too low because that's quite bad. Because then, you know, he's called Mr. Prepper and he's unprepared. So right now, it looks like actually Mr. Prepper could do with having a bit of a sleep and also a bit of a bite to eat. So maybe right now, Mr. Prepper, just go and have a nap. Go and have a nap in your bed. So off you run. So he runs up here into his bedroom and he'll just have a little sleep. And we have to do a lot of this in Mr. Prepper. We do a lot of sleeping. He gets tired very quickly, does Mr. Prepper. But there we go. So he's going to be up at about, what, about five o'clock-ish. I think he might even wake up a bit early. Yeah, there we go. Wonderful. And then let's head down here to our kitchen. So if we run down to the kitchen, this is where we can start making some food. Because, yeah, we can buy food or we can make our own. And I imagine we probably have some stuff here in the fridge. So what have we got? 
bit of soup. I don't know why we keep soup in the fridge, but okay, we do. And some energy drinks, very nice. And carrots and cabbages and beets. So yes, I'm pretty sure that we can make ourselves at least one lot of vegetable soup from those vegetables there. Okay, so if we do that, then go over to the cooker, we should be able to do some cooking. Just add some raw ingredients together, apply some heat, and voila, food. I know how cooking works, Mr. Prepper. <laughs> I'm aware of how this functions, it's fine. Cooking makes your food richer. So yes, if you cook things, you get more out of them. It fills your hunger meter up more, which makes sense. Okay. Here we go. So, we can't make vegetable soup? Oh no, we need water. Of course we do. Yeah, we need some water from the smiley face sink. So let's go over to the smiley face sink. There we go. We've got some water. And now we can make ourselves a bit of lovely vegetable soup. I think that's all we will be able to make. I don't think... Yeah, we've only got... Um, we've got three cabbages and it requires two cabbages to make that vegetable soup. So, okay. Make one lot of that. And that should, in time, see his preparedness go up a little bit. Because he's prepared a little bit there. He's gone and made some food and he feels a bit better. He feels a little bit better about the world in general. And I think we might as well eat that now. We might as well just have that now because that bar was a little bit low. So there we go. And then I think we will put the rest of those things back into the fridge. There we go. Can we put the water in the fridge? I don't think we can, can we? I don't think we can. No, okay. We'll carry that round for now. We'll carry that round for the moment. Okay, so there we go. So we've had a bit of sleep. And we've had a bit of food and our preparedness meter is now sort of relatively stable about here. I think what we should do is, I think, oh, we've got post. Oh, we've got post. That's exciting. Oh, we missed the post here. I like the postman. Okay, let's have a look at this then. So this is where we receive post and also we do trading here as well. There you go. So it's time for some trading. Make an order, collect it in two hours. That's how it should work. Yeah, they have a wonderful postman here that works all the time. It works pretty much all, all day round, 24 hours a day post they have here in Murrakaville. That's how it should work. Okay, so what have we got? One letter. A letter in a beautiful flowery handwriting. Okay, let us read the wonderfully written letter. Dear neighbour, hello. Do you like flowers, herbs and plants in general? Oh, I love them. Are you having trouble making friends in the town? Are you tired of urban life and sad men in suits visiting your home? <laughs> Do you enjoy nature? If any of this is true to you, and I'm sure it is, please come to the forest during the day. You might meet someone friendly from the local herbalist. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, there we go. That's quite nice. So yes, we can go and meet somebody in the woods, which is all very splendid. And there we go. A little sort of quest thing has popped up. So at some point in the day, we can go to the forest. And we can have a chat with the herbalist, which sounds like a fun thing to do. Right now, however, it's a little bit late to go and do too much stuff. Why don't we dig out our first bit of of underground base. I think that's what we should do because eventually we're going to have a great big sprawling underground base type thing with all sorts of things in there and a great big kind of rocket silo thing and rooms and growing areas and greenhouses and all sorts. But right now we've got to start it off. We've got nothing right now. So let's go to, I think it's that one, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So Mr. Prepper, this will no doubt delight you because this is proper prepping for the end of all things. I would shut your door, however, Mr. Prepper, whilst doing this. You're not supposed to be doing this. So if you could shut your door while you're doing terribly subversive things, that would be quite good, wouldn't it? Okay, so he's going to dig that out. And there we go. Now, we can't get in. I don't quite know how he's dug this under the ground without having some sort of access to it. But never mind. So, yeah, we need to build ourselves a little sort of uh, a little kind of ladder and a hatch type thing to get into our underground base. And then we cover it up with the rug, of course. So I think what we need to do is, have we got anything on our person? We've got 50 money. And, of course, yeah, a big load of dirt that we just dug out of there. Have we got anything else? Bit of water and that letter. And that's it. So we're carrying nothing at all. So I think what we need to do is, I think we need to pick up various bits and bobs. We need to disassemble them into, into metal and stuff like that. Hang on. Do we need to repair the workbench first? I suspect we need to go into our garden and we need to repair the workbench. I think we need to sort of spruce this up a little bit. A workbench. A prepper's best friend. Craft, disassemble and work magic. But it better stay hidden from the agency. Okay, so we need to move this down underground as soon as possible. And those barrels as well. Because, yeah, the agency, when he pops round, when the agent guy comes round, he will look for anything suspicious. So we will identify dodgy things that he's not entirely happy with. And these barrels here, you know, great big barrels in your garden for gasoline and oil and stuff. He's not overly happy about those. So we want to try and hide these things underground as well as the uh, workbench. Yeah, what do we need to get a workbench level one? We need metal and wood. I think if we do that, we can then build ourselves a ladder 
to then get down into the uh, get down into the bunker thing that we just constructed. Okay, so let's try and get some metal and some wood. Now we can get metal from various bits and bobs in our house, can't we? Like if we go and grab this, oh, we need to go to sleep. It's late, and Mr. Prepper's not very good at staying up late. <laughs> He's very bad at staying up late, is Mr. Prepper. He has to get a good night's sleep in. There we go. So off you pop. Yep, let's just be Tom on a bit. Okay, so he'll go to sleep. And there we go. When's the agent next come around? In a week's time. The agent is next coming to visit us on the 8th. And a new day dawns. We're incredibly hungry already. So what we'll do is we'll just go and have some soup. We'll just go and have a very quick bit of soup. Because we have some of it in here. Just some tin soup in the fridge for whatever reason. So yeah, we'll just eat one bit of that, I think. Um, yeah, we hang on. Separate it. I'm a bit concerned that we might eat it all. Separate it to four and one. And then we'll just take that into our possession and we'll eat that. I mean, I assume we cook it. I assume we don't just, you know, neck a cold tin of soup. I assume we cook it somewhere. But there we go. So that sorted that out. And now, yeah, we need to go and grab some things. So if we go and grab this. So go and grab that. Nice metal container thing. That goes into the inventory. I assume we can now... Can we disassemble this? Or do we have to go to the... Maybe we have to go to the workbench to do that. Maybe we can do at least basic disassembling at the workbench. Yes, we can. Okay, so... Get us some metal. So that's two. Okay, so we know that can happen. Oh, and it's raining. How lovely. <laughs> Yay. Ah, we can grab this crate thing. We don't need that. That's kind of a pointless thing that we don't need access to. And then, how about we just get some more some more metal things. Like uh, that there. Let's grab that. Don't need that just there. That's absolutely fine. So grab that. Is there anything else around that's metal that might not be missed? That there. Go and grab that little kind of storage box in our room. That's not that important. And we'll disassemble all of these things. So now run back to here, Mr. Prepper, if you would be so kind. If we can just hurry things on. There we go. Right. Disassemble this crate thing. So take that apart for a great big pile of wood. That's wonderful. Disassemble that for metal and plastic. Oh, got a bit of plastic out of that. And disassemble that for metal. So we need five wood and... One bit of metal. Okay. One bit of metal we'll just get from... Uh, I don't know. That. Go and grab that. So that'll be fine. However, wood is more of a... It's a trickier issue, is wood. So we could pop off to the actual forest. Let's go and do that, shall we? Let's go to the wood. Let's go and use the signposty thing. So this takes us around the world. But at the moment, we can either go home or we can go off to the forest. So let's go to the forest... And as we wander around the forest, we will find, you know, fallen bits of wood and stuff. There'll be things lying around. So here we go. Forest level one. Ah, the smell of adventure. I'm sure the forest is full of useful materials. It is, including lovely things to snack on, like blueberries, loads of blueberries around. And there we go. Logs. Just grab entirely massive logs. I mean, I don't know where he puts them. Where does he put... I mean, look at the size of that log compared to Mr. Prepper. But there we go. He's picked it up. He's put it in his TARDIS pockets. That's fine. Right. Is there anything else for us to grab? Can we grab another one? Might as well try and grab as many as we can. And we'll have those blueberries as well because they're good for making uh, smoothies and stuff. Right. Are there any other blueberries or any of the logs or anything over in this direction? Yes, there are. So we'll go and grab that. Can we grab another plank thing or is that too much yeah okay so yeah we have a carry capacity and that is just too much um okay well let's go home again then we'll just go home for now let's get our underground base thing sorted out first so let's pop back home and let's get over to the crafting table so yeah let's disassemble that log which will take a little while but that's fine so now we have enough wood to upgrade the workbench so yeah we just take away uh, take apart this box there we go. No one will miss a tiny box. Pointless. And there we go. Now we can upgrade our workbench. So yes, craft that, please, Mr. Prepper. Let's get this done. And then when this is done, you might need to go and have a nap. You need to have a lot of naps, Mr. Prepper. That's fine. Right. Hang on a second. Right. Just go and have a little sleep. Go and have a tiny lie down, Mr. Prepper, because, you know, you're all worn out. There we go. He's had his nice little sleep. So yeah, we need to go back to here. I can't quite recall exactly what materials we need to make a ladder. Only three metal. Okay, we only need three metal. We currently have none. I don't think we've got any metal at all. Whilst you're here, Mr. Prepper, disassemble a bit of wood. We might as well get some resources in. So yeah, disassemble that as well. So there we go. We've got a little bit of wood now. We've got, what, ten wood. Ten ground, of course, because yet we dug a great big hole in the ground and we keep it all. We keep it all for reasons. And, um, and yeah, we've got some money as well. We might need to possibly come over here and do some trading. 
So this is the little sort of trading screen. So there's our house, there's Mr. Prepper's place, and we can trade with these people. And of course, as we play the game, we unlock more people to trade with. But right now, we've only got these places here. Let's go and speak to, uh, speak to Sergey. We need to get ourselves three bits of, uh, three bits of metal. So yeah, that'll do. Let's spend 12 of our money on getting three you know, a box of different colours. We might as well have some variety. Why not? And um, yeah, we'll do that. We shall learn. Um, we'll trade for those. So then we just need to wait a little while. We just need to wait a little while for uh, for those things to arrive. I don't think we have anything else that we need to do particularly. How about we look in all the cupboards? Let's have a little nosy in the cupboards. Is there anything in these? Not in that one. Or is there anything in this one? Yes, there is. There's some bait. Okay, we'll absolutely take that. I'm not entirely sure the agent would appreciate there being kind of bait in the cupboard anyway. In this one, some money. Yep, yeah, might as well take that. That sort of tops us almost back up to what we just spent. And then, yeah, is there anything in these? I can't remember checking these before. Seeds. Okay, yes, yeah, so there's some seeds in those. That's fine. That's water. Is there anything in there? Anything in that one? Some more seeds. Okay, let's take all of those. And then can we just put all the seeds into one place? It makes sense if we just put all our seeds into one storage area. So there we go. And um, can we inspect that? Has that got something in it? Oh, no, it's just a kitchen hood. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so I think now we've got ourselves a little while to wait. Uh, well, let's just stand. If I know, is it raining? Let's not stand outside. It's not a very nice day. We'll stand over here. We'll stand over here and we will just wait for our uh, wait for our metal delivery to arrive. Okay, metal delivery imminent. And there's the postie. Hello, postie. Oh, I like the postie. What have you got to say about the world and life in general? I remember when we used to enjoy gondola lift rides through the forest on sunny Sundays before the plague. Somebody should bring the lift back to life. Maybe we will, my postman friend. Maybe we will. Okay, so take all of those things. Thank you very much. Right, we're just going to go and stand in the rain and disassemble some metal boxes because yeah, that's how we roll. That's what we do. We are Mr. Prepper and everything. So, yep, yeah, let's disassemble this one. And are we going to get these done before before it gets to 11 o'clock? Not entirely sure. I think we might. We might just get there. Okay, and now it is time to go to sleep again. So, yeah, yeah we, the, the days fly by. The days fly by for Mr. Prepper, but this is all good. This is all good. So... And here we go. Have another sleep. Another day will roll round. And then I think what we can do, get the ladder. So we can get our little sort of access to our underground bunker sorted at long last. And then we need to move the workbench into it. Because yes, at the moment we do have ourselves a very kind of, you know, very suspicious looking workbench out there. So let's go. Oh, we need some food. We need some food. Of course we do. Right. Um, yeah. Bit of soup. Splendid. Thank you. Lovely. Right, and then come back over here. So yeah, do some crafting. Let's craft a ladder. Yes, here we go. So let's get this done. Make us a nice ladder. And finally, we can go underground at <laughs> long last. So yeah, pop over to here, please, Mr. Prepper. And then, yeah, where do you want to put the ladder? I mean, just there seems to work quite well. Can we get it as near to the... Can we get it right there? In fact, can the rug cover that up? Let's put it there. Let's put the ladder just there. And there we go. We now have a ladder. We've got access to down here. Now, it is a bit dark down there. Can we craft ourselves a light yet? We all need some glass. Might have to buy something that's uh, that's got glass in it. Can we make a light? A wall lamp. Just needs one bit of glass. I mean, we must have... What are the plates made of? A green plate is fine. But are they, hang on, hang on. Inspect it. Is it ceramic or is it glass? Yeah, the plate, I mean, the plates are made of glass, which is a bit weird. I would have thought plates would have been made of ceramic stuff, but no. So, yeah, we'll get ourselves a plate. We'll get ourselves another plate. We'll take a couple of plates and we'll take, do you know what? A couple of those drinking glasses as well. We'll have some of those because then we can get ourselves a couple of lights. Imagine. Right, okay. So, go back to crafting and we will craft. Oh, no, we need to disassemble these things first, don't we? Disassemble both of those. So, both of our white cups. They can be dismantled. And then both of these green plates. So get rid of both of those. And now we've got four glass and we can make some wall lamps. So let's make two for now. Let's make a couple of those. Get that done. Let's get a bit of a foggy day over here in Murrickaville. And then also, yeah, we can make soil patches as well. And this is good for growing things underground. So let's get some of these underway as well. We might as well make five. We're not doing anything else with the ground that we've got our hands on. So yeah, we'll craft those as well. That's going to take... A little while by the look of it, but that's fine. And then we need to pick up this whole thing and move it downstairs. 
So we need to kind of pack this thing up. We need to grab the whole thing like so and then put it down here somewhere. So let's come down here. Now it is going to be very dark. <laughs> I can't see anything at all. I can see Mr. Prepper and nothing else. So let us pop a light in. There we go. Let's put it right. In fact, we're going to grow some stuff in here. If we're going to grow some food, which we might need to, to get some uh, homemade soup and stuff, we need to put these quite near to the ground. We can always move them, can't we? How near? Hang on. Let's just put that there for now. Just pop the light in. And then let's put our soil patches in. Because on these, we can grow some stuff. So let's just get one soil patch in. And then, oh no, we need the workbench going in, don't we? No, hang on. No, pick up the... <laughs> Grab that. Let's not do that. That's a silly idea. Let's dig out a whole new bit for our, um, for our veg to grow in. So yeah, okay. Where do we want to dig? So do we want to try and dig out this way as much as we can? Yeah, let's dig that out. That can be... Do we want it like that? So have it split in half. We are going to need a ladder. Do you know what? No, 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 not that. No, that's a, that's a silly idea. What we'll do is we'll have that. We'll have it like this and we'll just have it going out like that. Yeah, splendid. So yes, Mr. Prepper, are you going to be able to do that? Yeah, you might be able to do that. You might be exhausted by the end of it. We might need to possibly get you to go and have a nap, actually. Are you going to finish this in time? I don't think you're going to, are you? You're going to be too tired. Okay, hang on, Mr. Prepper. Go and have a nap. <laughs> go and have a nap and then come and finish this job here. I mean, you've left it, what, about half done. Come back when you've had a little sleep. There we go. Right, carry on your work down here, please, Mr. Prepper. So there you go. Get your hard hat back on. I love, I love the way he has a proper sort of builder's helmet going on there. I do like that. I don't know where he gets it from. In his infinite pockets, I assume. Okay, so there we go. Another little space to go underground. But yeah, we need to put our workbench down. And we're going to use this a lot. So let's put this up here, like so. So now our workbench is safely under the ground, which is splendid. And do you know what? That that lamp does need to be... I want it kind of on either side of the, of the thing. Yeah, there we go. On either side of the ladder makes a bit of sense, doesn't it? In fact, let's have one over the... We can't have one over the workbench for some reason, but we'll put one there because that makes sense. And then how about one over this side as well? Just pop one over that side, just so we can see a tiny bit better in this room. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now I've got ourselves the workbench moved downstairs. We do want to move our board downstairs at some point as well, because this has our ultimate plan on it. In fact, we should probably go have a read of that. Let's go up here because this will give us our sort of give us a goal, if you like. So yeah, let's read our ultimate plan board. Goal number one, survive. Okay, I'll try. Goal number two, escape in caps. Okie doke. So now goal number one is establish a food source. Grow some plants in the bunker. Okay, we can try that. I need a food source. Time to kick off my underground plantation. The agent would not be happy to see that. Okay, so underground farm, we will need. I like this. <laughs> You'll need, yeah, some room soil. Can we craft in the workbench? We've got that. Seed bags, we've got some of those. And water, presumably, as well. Seeds can be bought in trade. And water, we need water. That's how plant growing works. I know how all that works. Um, have we got any more metal? No, no, we haven't. Okay, so we might need to go back down here very quickly from Sergey. Let's just grab... Uh, oh, we're not there yet. Hang on, we're not at the thing. Let's grab one each of those. We need another ladder, is what I'm thinking. Let's just buy some more of those from the uh, the local trader person. And they will probably arrive in the morning, I would have thought. I think we might have to wait until the morning. Do you know what we could do? Let's go and grab another one of those glasses and another bowl. Let's grab a bowl because we're going to need some more lights down here. We've got loads and loads of things growing. We need it to be well lit. So what have we got? We've got, in terms of glass, we've got two bits. So currently we can make two lights. So that'll be three lights, four lights. Let's get, what do you want to take? What do you want to take here? Save quantity of those cups is, oh, between four to 12. Oh, <laughs> I think we might have taken too many cups, unless there's some behind there that I can't see. Oh, oh dear. Oh no, there's a cup. Oh, that's a purple cup. Hang on, that's a white cup. Yeah, the agent might tell us off for not having enough cups. That's probably fine. We can cope with that. And the safe quantity of those, safe quantity of... Bowls? It just says bowl. Can we take that bowl? Yeah. Okay, we've taken a bowl, which is also made of glass. Okay. Right. 
I'm a bit concerned now. The agent's going to think that we haven't got enough uh, enough drinking utensils and things. Yeah, this is this could be troublesome. That could be troublesome. We'll have to deal with that. I wonder if we can make those. I wonder if we can make those again and put them back on the shelf. Okay, we'll have. Hang on. No, we've got the white cup there. Why don't we just put it back on the shelf? Let's just pop that back onto there. There we go. Right. Okay, good. The agent won't be quite so suspicious. And I think, yeah, we'll have another sleep. We'll have another sleep through to the next day. So there we go. Nice little nap for Mr. Prepper. It would be nice to eat something, says Mr. Prepper. All right, hang on. You've only just woken up. Hang on a minute. Let me get you some more soup. There you go. Eat some more soup, Mr. Prepper. You enjoy. Right, and then let's get... Oh, hang on. Let's pick up our delivery which should be there by the time you actually make it over. Hello, Posty. How are you again? What lovely tale have you got for us today? What are you going to say? Do you sometimes think your letters travel further than you ever will? <laughs> I tried to drive away in a car, but they stopped me, Mr. Postman. It was all very sad. Uh, okay, right. Get down here. Do some crafting. Let's disassemble all of these various bits and bobs. Okay, so we now have enough metal to make another ladder so we can go down another little uh, little step in our bunker, which is wonderful. So we just get that constructed. Right, where can this go? If it could go just there, that would be handy. Just took it right over there. So now we can get down here. So what we want to do is we want to pop down ourselves and then we want to get some of the... Uh, have we got one light just for now? Have we got one light? Where is that? Um... Do we not even have one? I know we put them both up there, didn't we? Of course we did. Right, hang on. Hang on. Go back up the ladder. Do some crafting, please. Um, okay, so we need to make ourselves some wall lamps. We can make six. I think we only need five. Let's make five wall lamps for now. And then when that's done, we can put down the soil. Then we can put down the wall lamps above them. And then we can plant some stuff. And hopefully it will grow better because the light will be right next to them. So let's go down here. Let us put down. Let's just do this, actually. Right in the corner, one big load of earth. Put that down and then we'll put the light as low as we can above it. So just there. So the, that, that gets the maximum amount of light. And now we can see a bit as well. So put that down. Okay, so all the soil is now down. And then let's just get all the lights in. Now, of course, at some point in the future, we will improve these. Because, yeah, we'll be able to get proper light planters and proper sort of growing lamps and stuff. But for now, this will have to do. So there we go. Right, now... We've got a blackout. Too many things are using electricity. So we need to go and turn things off. Yes, we have an electric meter just there. We're using too much power. This is your electricity box. Here you can check the percentage of electricity being used. Electricity supply provided by the government is very limited. So we need to go and turn things off. For now, you have to turn something off to get the power back on. Later on, you can get generators. Yep, to make more electricity. Okay. Okay, this is fine. This is all fine. It's all good. What we're going to do is we're going to put another light in as well, just to, <laughs> just to, you know, exacerbate the problem, make it even worse. Right, so let's go up here. We don't need our bedroom. In fact, do we need that light? We don't need that light. So let's power that light off for now. Get rid of that light just there. That light doesn't need to function. So there we go. And that one light, turning that off, means that all of our other lights can come back on, which is wonderful. And now let's get some seeds done. So are they in there? They were in this one, weren't they? Um, yeah, there. So take all of these. So carrots, cabbage, beets and carrots. Okay, take all of those and we'll grab some water as well. We have to be a little bit wary of the water. When we can, we'll build a bucket and put them outside. So let's come down here and let us plant some stuff. So I think... Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Hang on. Wait there. You think I could remember this. The amount of times I've made the vegetable soup. Two carrots... Two cabbages, one beet. So two carrots, two cabbages, one beet. So over there, we want carrot. Yep, so plant carrot. Over here, we want carrot. So two carrots. And then over here, we want cabbages. So have we got two of those? Yep. So one cabbage and plant that and get another cabbage in. So two cabbages. That will use up all our cabbage seeds. And over here, a beet. Just there. There we go. Splendid. So now put that into there. Plants need water and light to grow. Yes. Again, like I understand how cooking works. I understand how plants kind of work, but that's fine. You can take some water from a sink. Done it already. Keep your farm well lit. More light, faster growth. Okie doke. Yeah, and there is a little light meter above all of these. But of course, yeah, the ones at the edge don't receive as much light as ones in the middle because that's, that's, that one there has got light shining in from above it and the left and the right. Whereas this one here, 
has only got light shining on it from above and one side. So they're not going to grow quite as quickly, but that's fine. Right, and then let's do some watering. And this is all good. Mr. Prepper is loving this. This is preparing. This is proper prepping. He is very happy with this. There we go. Food source established. I'll check my plan again. Okay. Now, we do actually want to go and... We'll read it now. We'll go and read the plan. And then we want to move it. How can I escape? Car? Plane? Rocket? No, that's just crazy. Okay, so make a plan. We need an inspiration. Okay, fine. So that will come along at some point. At some point, we will be inspired by something. And uh, I need to do more planning. How can I escape? I need to find some inspiration. Okay, what we'll do is as well, we will grab this. We'll grab that and we will come down here. We'll put it over here for now. And drop it over here because that's one less thing that the agent can find that's a bit suspicious. Obviously a big thing on the wall saying, the ultimate plan, how I am going to escape from this nightmare, might look a little bit dubious. So yeah, let's just put that on the wall just there for now. Splendid. One less thing for the agent to kind of, you know, call us out on. And I think it's nap time. I think very much it is another nap time for Mr. Prepper. So let's have a quick sleep. Okay, so we've woken up and we have ourselves something in the post box. So let's go and have a look what we've got. We've got ourselves the Minuteman's letter. Of course, here we go. Minuteman's letter, inspection protocol. A secret protocol for the house inspection used by the agency. Very useful. And a picture of a rocket, of course. Okay, so let's, um, in fact, you know what? let's go inside. We'll go inside and look at all this slightly dubious material. Okay, so there we go. So go back into here. Okay, Minute Man's letter. Let's read the Minute Man's letter. We kind of know what's going on. Dear Mr. Prepper, you don't know me, but your ambitions have caught my eye. You're an interesting person, Mr. Prepper, and there are not many interesting people in the town these days. I know that your little road trip didn't go well. Too bad. But if I may suggest something, go big and don't stick to land route only. I'm attaching something you may find useful. It's a tried and tested design. It might seem crazy at first glance, but Prepper... I know you can do it. And don't be afraid. Your secrets are safe with me. And expect more fan mail from me soon. Yours truly, The Minute Man. Okay, so The Minute Man has given us something exciting. Interesting. I don't know who this guy is, but he does seem to be helpful. Perhaps he has more interesting items to share. Maybe he'll be willing to trade. Well, maybe, Mr. Prepper. And then we can have a look at the inspection protocol. So this is what people are... This is what the agents are expecting to see. They're expecting to see these things in a house. So, you know, a couple of cooking pots and some rugs and a kettle and a lamp and a plant and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, we could strip our house of everything. We could just take everything out of our house for materials. But then, yeah, when the agent comes by, he's going to find that ever so slightly dubious, I would expect. So, uh, yeah, we need to make sure that we don't remove everything from the house. Okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. And then we have ourselves a rocket photo. My goodness me, what could we do with this? I certainly feel inspired by the rocket photo. Funny, this surprisingly makes sense. I have the feeling I could actually pull this off. It will need some planning though. Okay, I mean, I kind of feel like we should come down here and have a look at this. Let's read this and let's apply the picture of the rocket to our inspiration. And then let's do some planning. It's going to take us a little while. We're thinking about rockets. Is that the best way to escape? And there we go. Of course, Mr. Prepper's ultimate plan, inspired by the Minute Man, this kind of mystery benefactor, is to uh, build a rocket. Build a gigantic rocket under the ground somewhere around here. And there we go. To do that, we're going to need 50 stone, 20 metal and 10 glass. It's going to take us a little while just to get the kind of, you know, the silo bit done. The little bit where the rocket is going to live. The rocket house, if you like. So, yeah, it's going to take us a while to get those uh, those materials together. But that's okay. That's okay. It's not so bad. We can work toward that. How are the plants doing? Oh, they're doing okay. The plants are actually growing pretty well. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. That's wonderful. Right, how much wood have we got? Ten wood, only one glass. Can we make, a, can we make some storage stuff? In fact, it's getting a bit late, isn't it? It's getting a little bit late. Oh, I just realised we picked up some blueberries. I was going to turn them into something. However, they've now just become rotten food. Okay. What we'll do is, can we store the rotten food somewhere? Because in the long run, somebody does want that. Um, okay, hang on. Go up here. Put rotten food into that cupboard there. That is currently the rotten food cupboard. Delicious. And we will... Do we need to eat something? Do we need to go and eat something right now? We are quite hungry. Those beets are going off a little bit. 
Can we last until morning? Do you know what? Let's have a tin of soup now. There we go. Preparedness is low, but yeah, our food has gone back up. Right. Go and have a sleep, Mr. Prepper. Go and have a nice night's sleep. Okay, that's pretty good. So we're woken up and we're not actually really hungry. We're yeah, a little bit peckish, but we're not super, super hungry. So that means we don't have to go and grab some stuff from here. How are the how are the veggies looking? They're looking okay. I think they might actually grow on this lot of water that we've already got in them. So that might be quite handy. That means we don't have to get loads more water out. However, it's almost topping itself back up anyway. We could just grab another load of water when we can. We might as well. But the plan right now is I think we need to dig out another big bit of another big bit of base. Because we need some more space to put things. Yeah, you know, like these barrels and such like. We don't really want those on the surface because yeah, the uh, inspector guy is gonna find those a bit dubious. So let's go to here. We'll expand out this way because we can. So let's expand to just oh no, hang on a minute. No, we know that we don't want to go out there because we want to save this space. So yeah, okay, so like that. That'll do the job. That can be a little sort of functional room. So yeah, go and build that, please, Mr. Prepper. So pop down here and do your work on this. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do this. I mean, he's put a door in and then he's just sort of looking at the ground and waving a blueprint at it. And it's kind of, uh, it's just sort of falling apart. Hey, is that how building works? That's amazing. I'm in the wrong job. Okay, so there we go. Nice new empty bit of space to then go forth and build in, which is splendid. And they're looking very good. They look like they minded a tiny bit more water. We might need, is that now ready? Can we go and grab some water? Yes. Okay, right, come back and just give these the tiniest bit of water, because then even if they grow, while well, they've got that water in there, we can just put some more seeds in and that'll be absolutely fine. So there we go, right, so they're looking good. They will grow soon enough, which is lovely. Do we have a light? Have we got a spare light? Have we got a spare bit of glass? Yeah, okay, right. Go up to here. Are we going to be able to have ourselves an extra light? Yeah, that's a that's a good point, isn't it? A wall lamp. Can we actually have another one of those? Because we're going to struggle a bit, aren't we? We're going to struggle a bit if uh, for the power. So if we just put that in, say, there, is this going to cause a, a blackout around our, around our house? And yes, it is. Oh, botherations. Okay, right. This lamp here. We don't need this lamp. We've got a light just here. We don't need a lamp. There is a whole big light. And there we go. We really do need a generator of some description. We need a generator because, yeah, that's uh, that's not really very good for our power, is it, right there? Okay, never mind. Right. I think, I think our preparedness is very low. Our preparedness is super low. Okay, right. What can we craft? Can we craft something? Can we go and make something? Because that's what gets Mr. Prepper all happy. If we go and make some stuff. How about some traps? We've got some bait. Why don't we go and make three traps? And we can put those in the woods. That'll be quite a fun thing to do. So yeah, we'll make three of these. And that's good. He's going to like making all these things. Look, preparedness ticking back up. Very nice indeed. Okay, so we've got three traps. Go and have a nap. It's about that time of day. Go and have a little sleep. Okay, wonderful. So he's had his sleep. Let's just go off to the forest very quickly. We'll just put those traps down. We'll put the traps down and we'll just see what we catch. We've only got basic bait. We've got the very basic of bait. So yeah, traps area. So yeah, let's have a look at this. What kind of stuff can we expect? We can either get turkeys or like deer, whatever they are. Okay, fine. So let's put down our traps. So whereabouts are the traps? There we go. So yeah, let's put one there. I mean, let's just put them right near the way in. I don't think it makes any difference. But one just there. It's a trap. Subtle. And one just there. And one next to it. I don't think it makes any difference as to their positioning. I don't think it makes any difference at all. So yeah, we'll just put them all next to each other. A big kind of convoy of traps. And we'll quick set that one. And we'll quick set that. And we will quick set that one. Okay. And whilst we're here, we might as well go and grab blueberries and wood. We might as well just pick up those things whilst we're in the forest. Because blueberries, if we remember, we can use to turn to a lovely smoothie for food. And the wood, we can just use to make other things, which is all very handy. Is that all there is? Oh no, there's a bit of blueberry bush over there. That's fine. I think that might be it. Of course, we could go deeper into the wood, but maybe not right now. That might be uh, that might be ill-advised at this, uh, this late hour. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's go back home, where I like to think... 
Possibly our veggies should have grown. And yes, all the vegetables are ready to harvest, which is wonderful because Mr. Prepper is uh, he's freaking out a little bit. He's getting a little bit concerned about preparedness. But if we get our own vegetables, he loves a bit of that. He loves a bit of this. This is super prepared. This is growing our own stuff underground and feeling very happy about it. Okay, so let's put some more stuff into the ground. Let's just plant whatever we've got. What have we got? Carrot seeds. That's fine. We can make carrot soup out of these. So yeah, plant carrots. Yeah, whatever we've got. And plant, uh, well, quick plan. We've only got one more thing. So we'll quick plant what there is. Then we'll pop up here and we will just very quickly disassemble that bit of wood because we don't need to carry that around because it's really heavy. So there we go. We've still got a carry weight of 56. What are we carrying around? Oh, a load of water. We're carrying around a massive load of water. Okay, that's good though, because that means we can go up to here and we can make some food. So vegetable soup, let's make, if we make three lots, we can make three lots of this. Yeah, absolutely. Make three lots of vegetable soup in late night, in late night cooking, but look at the preparedness meter. It is absolutely flying up. This is wonderful. And we will also make some lovely blueberry smoothie. Just get one of these, actually. I think we can only make one with the amount of blueberries we've got. But there we go. Right. Lovely smoothie. And we are hungry. So have it straight away. Neck the smoothie and eat the blueberries as well. So there we go. Wonderful. And I think it's just coming up to bedtime for Mr. Prepper. So once again, let's go and have a sleep. Okay, so it's a brand new day. It's not the nicest of days. It's a bit of a bit of a miserable rainy day over here in Murrakaville. But we do need to get something to eat. But that's absolutely fine. Of course it is, because we just made a massive load of food, which we're carrying around on our person. Okay, we should possibly have put the food in the fridge. That's fine. Okay, it's fine. It'll it'll last. We just went to sleep in a bed with our pockets full of soup. How does that even work? <laughs> <laughs> Where did it go? Surely it's just splashed everywhere. Okay, never mind his magic pockets. Uh, right, let us eat one of our lovely homemade soups. Very nice indeed. And yeah, we've not got much in the way of ingredients there, have we, left to make more soup. Yeah, we need some cabbages. Is it worth... Oh, hello. Hello there. How are you, Posty? Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, morning, we have a new series of stamps. Exciting, isn't it? It's, yeah, you guessed it, our beloved president. His left profile this time. Oh, it sounds wonderful. And it's another letter from the Minuteman. Okay, let's see what the Minuteman has got to say for himself now. Dear Mr. Prepper, I hope my letter finds you well. Do you feel inspired by my last gift? Absolutely. I'm so inspired by a picture rocket. I'm going to build a rocket. I would like to start a small exchange between us, if you'll agree. From time to time, I will send you a letter or a package with some useful information or an item. And I have access to some other rather curious supplies and sources. Trust me. However, there are some things that are hard to obtain for me. And here is where I believe you, Mr. Prepper, could help me. You can deliver me things. If you would like to trade them on the local marketplace. I'm sure you'll figure this out as an icebreaker. I would just love, love to have a jar of blueberry jam. Yours truly, the Minute Man. Okay, so the Minute Man has been unlocked. There we go. So we can go up to here. We can have a chat with the Minute Man. Um, okay, well, let's go to here. So what do we need to do to the Miniman? Just, yeah, literally sell a jar of blueberry jam. I mean, we could possibly make that ourselves. We could make that ourselves with some glass, bit of sugar and some blueberries. Or we could just buy it from the supermarket. But I bet it's prohibitively expensive. It's $29 to buy. And then we could sell it for sell it for 30 Or we could just buy the sugar for 10 And then, yeah, let's buy the sugar for 10 Let's do this. Let's actually get this done right now, shall we? And let's go to here. Can we buy something that's glass? No. But we might need to buy some metal stuff anyway. So let's just spend some money on that just there. Let's get some more metal stuff. Uh, Nancy. Nancy often wants things made of wood. Doesn't she? This is how we can make some good profit. So yeah, we could make ourselves uh, yeah, a table. Just a table would be quite good. We have got some wood. That would make us quite a bit of money. Okay. So we need to get something made of glass little bit concerned about removing all of the glass items from our house. Maybe that will have to wait. Maybe that'll have to wait. Okay, hang on. Let's run down here. Uh, can we make a table? Can we make a table? Where are where are all the things? Table, yes. Make. Well, she wanted two tables, didn't she? Hang on. Make one table. Because I think that's going to be quite good. That'll get us a little bit of money. And then I think what we might want to do is, just for a bit of defence, let's make ourselves a baseball bat. We currently have no defense at all, so we can't fight anything. 
Okay, so now what we can do is we can go to here and we can equip ourselves with a baseball bat. There we go, we can hit things now, yay. And there's the postie again. So let's run back up to the postie. Hello, unreceived mail is piling up in the mailbox of Bob, the former teacher. Has he gone on a vacation or something? Yeah, I don't know. I don't hold out much hope for Bob, the former teacher. It's a bit sad. Okay, take all of that stuff. And then what I think we might do, let's go over to here for a second. Let's put our water in there as well, because we're carrying around a load of water. Oh, hang on. And we're carrying around a load of, hang on, <laughs> got a load of carrots. Let's put them in there. Eight carrots. That is probably enough to make carrot soup, which again is more food, which is obviously a good thing. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the woods, go to the forest in the daytime. We're going to meet the herbalist. Our carry weight is pretty low. That's pretty low. What have we got that's proving to be... Oh, we're holding a table. Of course, yeah, that might be... <laughs> that might be quite cumbersome, carrying a whole entire table round. Although maybe not for Mr. Prepper and his magic infinite pockets. Right, we'll just disassemble these things very quickly. Because when things are disassembled, when they turn into their sort of their pure resource, their sort of building material, that it doesn't it doesn't weigh anything. I don't quite understand that, but whatever, that's fine. That's the way the game works. And then yes, if we go and get rid of the uh, go and get rid of the table, we should be fine. So if we run over here, go to Nancy's house, sell her a table for fifteen dollars. There we go, Nancy. Enjoy your nice new table. So our mission is to go to the forest in the daytime. However, Mr. Prepper is a little bit tired and also a little bit hungry. Let's run over here. Let's have one of the soups because that will get us topped up quite nicely. And then we might just go for a quick nap. We might not let it go all the way up because then we might not be going to the forest in the daytime. So let's go to about there. There we go. And then now... Let us, in fact, you know what? We might as well just stand around here for a few seconds. Move time on a bit quicker. There we go. Hello, postman again. <laughs> I feel like me and you have a very good relationship going on. Right, we'll have all that money. Uh, always clinks and clangs coming from your house, Mr. Prepper. Shh, quiet, quiet there. Don't, don't say anything, postman, please shush. Right, and then off to the woods with us. And while we're here, we will check our traps. So what is in this trap? That is a bit of a chicken leg or whatever it was, or a turkey leg, who knows? That is some feathers. And that is on this one, another bit of meat. Okay, right, so we will grab some blueberries whilst we're here because we can obviously make blueberry jam from these. So let's go and grab these. And then we are going to need to go, I imagine, slightly deeper into the, uh, deeper into the forest because we cannot find the person we're looking for on this level, but we can go deeper in. So there we go. So let's just pop into the next bit of the forest. Oh, and this is wonderful. There are many, many blueberries around. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. Okay, what we'll do is I think they're off in that direction. So we'll come this way. There are animals around and they don't seem to be that bothered by us. Okay, um, okay, hang on. Let's go and open this. So these are like the little sort of gondola ride things that are supposed to be attached to a big kind of, you know, like a high up, like a pulley system type thing. You're supposed to go around and look at the forest from up on high in the gondolas on the cable car. But yes, of course, it's fallen apart. So we'll take all of that stuff, I think. Was that food? Was that a tin of, yes, a tin of Luna tuna. Food is, ta uh, food, is food, even if it smells fishy. It's fine. Tuna's nice. Right. So go and grab that and we'll have a log. We'll grab a log. We might as well grab a bit of wood. Right. This is all good. All of these things here are good. So let's go back over this way. I'm a little bit concerned that it's not going to be the daytime much more by the time we find the herbalist. Right, are they this way? Let's very quickly just go this way. No, they're not. Right, go into the next bit of the wood. We'll come back and check on that thing. I just want to get to the herbalist whilst it's daytime. Okay, I think they might be over in this direction. Yeah, there she is. She's hiding. Let's talk to her. Hiding in a bush. Hello. Ah, <laughs> My goodness me, talking vegetation. Oh, Fudge, I wasn't hiding, just picking some berries. Bob, are you okay? I'm not called Bob. Oh, no, Bob's the plant, of course. Hi, Bob. Hello, Buttercup. I knew you would come. You seem like a strong and capable young lad. Blimey, I don't think he's been called young for a while, but okay. It's been a while since anybody called me young. My thoughts exactly. And you are? Oh, my manners. My name is Jenny. I'm the one who sent you the letter. Sorry for the secrecy, but one can not be too cautious these days. You can usually meet me here around this time. I'm a herbalist. Your contact regarding all plant matters, you could say. People call me Prepper. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Okay. Oh, just Jenny, please. And let me help. Uh, let me get to the point. I could use your help. See, I have this cosy cabin in the woods, but I can't get there now. 
There's a vicious wolf hanging around. I've tried everything. It didn't fall for my package of poisonous herbs inside a delicious sausage. Could you get rid of it for me? Hmm, a wolf in a cabin in the woods. Is a red hood and a basket required for this mission? Uh, you'd look lovely in bright red, but I'm not the fashion police. Just help me so I don't have to explain big ears and teeth to anyone. In return, you can take anything you want from the materials left inside the cabin. I do need to re uh, resupply soon anyway. Okay, I want to have my cabin back. We could trade with each other. Do we have a deal? Absolutely, yeah, we do. I'll deal with the wolf. Yeah, splendid. You hear that, Bob? We'll have our cabin back. <laughs> can we talk to her and ask... Oh, hang on. We can focus on Bob. Can we talk to Bob? Hello, Bob. Oh, so do you give names to all your plants? Um, sweetie, I'm a herbalist. I pick plants, dry them, chop them, cook them, squeeze them, burn them, etc. So no, I don't give names to all my plants. Okay, so how is Bob special? Well, Bob is a friend. And please be kind to him. He's sensitive and has a good memory. Okay, okay, so nice to meet you, Bob. <laughs> He's pleased too. Don't mess it up. Okie doke. Right, we'll pick up that, because that's a lever. That's the lever. And I think, I think if we go and grab, I think her cabin is that way. But we don't want to fight anything right now because we're not quite ready. But yeah, let's go and grab those. And then we'll grab all the blueberries on this particular, this particular level of the forest if we can. Come on, Prepo, chop, chop. Right, grab those. And then we'll go to here. We'll grab those ones. Right, this might have some juicy stuff in it. Bait, exotic bait, and some glass. Oh, that's brilliant. That's what we need. We needed the glass. We wanted the glass to make the um, to make the the thing, the jam, the jam for the minute man. Okay, and then we'll pop back here because we missed out one of the gondola things here because I was in a bit of a rush. I think it was uh, it was over in this direction. Yeah, so pick that up, and then let's have an investigate of what is in here. And we've got some more feathers, bit of money, and some more food. Brilliant. Yeah, take everything, please. Take all the stuff, and then we will. In fact, no, we don't need to do that. Let's just head home via the use of the signpost which is really far away there it is right yep absolutely let's go home mr prepper and i think what we can do is we have enough blueberries we've got sugar and we've got glass so i think we can go here and we can make blueberry jam this is wonderful yeah so make one lot of that and we've got quite a lot of blueberries left as well so hang on a minute we'll come back to that in a second let's make two lots of the blueberry smoothies because again nice quick easy food thing to make and then just sort of store away um okay that's pretty good and then we've got here roasted turkey so yeah again this is the weirdness of mr prepper we can make an entire roast turkey out of four chicken legs <laughs> that's not how food works mr prepper it's not how it works but right now we are going to need to go to sleep because it's getting a bit late it's getting a little bit late and if it gets past midnight mr prepper's tiredness absolutely plummets the stamina comes down when it gets too late past midnight so there we go we'll have a nap and we've still got a couple of days left until the agent comes round. So we've got today, so the next day, and then a you know, full day of doing stuff. And then that day, the agent will come round. And the other thing is, I don't know what time is coming round, because we haven't got the report. But this time, when he comes round, he will hand us a report of what he's found. And then that will have a time for the next visit. But this visit here, not entirely sure of the time. Okay, never mind, never mind. At least we know we've got a full day to just, you know, do some final prep. Okay, so new day is here. Let us go over to the fridge. I don't think I put all the uh, all the things in the fridge, did I? No. Right, let's have one of the smoothies because that's good for our that's good for our health. That's nice. Uh, that tuna can stay with us. We need to send the jam over to the uh, to the Minute Man. So there we go. So we'll put that in there. Joe, we'll eat those remaining blueberries. They're only going to go off. So there you go. Nice healthy snack. And then yeah, let's go to here. Let's cook a roast turkey out of four chicken legs by magic. There we go, Mr. Prepper works his magic. And then come back to here and we will store that in there because that's that's a pretty good meal. That is a pretty good meal and we don't need it right now. So there we go. And then we will come over here and we will send off that thing to the Minute Man. The Minute Man can have his jam. There you go, blueberry jam on its way, Mr. Minute Man, sir. And whilst we wait for that, we will just disassemble a few bits and bobs. There's a log here that we need to take apart, so we'll do that and disassemble another log. Why not? That's quite good. So how much wood do we have? We've probably got quite a bit of wood now. We've got 12 bits of wood. So do we want to actually go and send anything to Nancy? What would Nancy like? Another table. She wants another table and 10 books. Okay, we could make one table out of five wood for 15 money. 
Yeah, okay, let's go and do that. So whilst we wait for our thing to come back from the uh, Minuteman, why don't we just go and make another table? Like a sort of a very simple table manufacturing thing going on. So there you go, table, yes please. Just make the one and we'll sell that for a bit of money. The postman's there. Oh no, hang on Posty, wait, I like chatting with you. What are you going to say for yourself? There we go. I had trouble falling asleep last night. I was watching the brazen serpent shining in the sky. Finally fell asleep round three, I guess. The brazen serpent shining in the sky. How intriguing. Um, okay, so take all those things and we have another letter from the Minuteman. Okay, let's read this right in front of the postie. I trust the postie. It's fine. Even though we're in the rain, this letter's going to get wet. Dear Mr. Prepper, how are you? I have recently taken interest in a certain fascinating topic that can also become timely. However, due to regulations of our wise government, bless the president, obtaining reliable sources on this topic is challenging. But Mr. Prepper, you might have more luck. Please deliver me a good book about nuclear warfare and its consequences, something non-fiction. I'm sure I can make up for all the trouble. I'm not sure where to obtain unusual books these days, given the agency's pressure. I think the whole book business must have gone underground. Yours truly, The Minute Man. Okay, so we need to find ourselves an interesting book. I also realise we're wandering around with a baseball bat out. <laughs> the postie looking a little bit nervous there as we sort of, yes, approach him with the baseball bat. Right, hang on. Nancy, did we go to you? Did we sell you a table? There you go, Nancy. Enjoy your table. Nice new table to go with the other table we made. How many tables does one person need? I think our vegetables down here might have died. I don't think we gave them enough water. I sort of forgot about watering the vegetables. We did have some carrots and a beet in, didn't we? But they're no longer there. Ah, botherations. Okay, that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Have we got any more? Hang on, where did we put the seeds? The seeds were in, oh, they were in here, weren't we? I think we went through all of our seeds. Yeah, we've got no more seeds. So we can't plant anything else right now. But when we do this, when we go and, um, when we go and sort out the, uh, the thingy of the wolf, when we go and sort the wolf out, it will be fine. It'll all be fine. It'll be good because then we can have loads of seeds from Jenny's house. The only thing is we need to get that done sooner rather than later. Okay, we need to repair the ropeway. I cannot quite remember what we needed to do that. Let's go and have a quick look. Oh yes, and we can arm at least one of our traps, can't we? Because we picked up a bit of bait. So there we go. We'll put some bait just there. Can we quick set another one as well? Yes. Can we do that one? I can't remember if we, need, if we have any more bait. No, not got any more bait. Never mind. Right, grab some blueberries whilst we're here, because they're good for a snack. Okay, how do we repair this thing? I can't quite recall exactly what we need. Just the lever. Oh, okay, yeah, we can do that. I thought it might have required you know, metal or whatever, but no, just one lever. Absolutely sorted. So yes, this allows us to go a bit deeper into the wood. So now we can go to level two and we can travel all the way up to, well, there's a question mark there. I mean, yeah, looking at it, I mean, I imagine it's going to be level six, but who knows? Who knows what is deep into the woods? But uh, but yeah, that's quite good. So we've got ourselves up to level two in the woods. Now, do we want to do we want to go there now? No, we don't. We're a bit tired. We're not quite on full full health, and we might have to go. Well, we will have to go and fight a wolf, and that's going to be bad. So no, okay, it's fine. We'll leave it for now. Let's just go and pick up if there's any wood around here. It might be quite nice, or berries, or what have you. Okay, not too much around. Pretty slim pickings, I'm afraid. But never mind. So right, what we'll do is we'll go back home. I assume that's just taken us home. Yeah, there we go. Right, we'll pick up our money for the table. Thank you. And there we go. Right, let's just go back indoors. Let's go back indoors for a second. Okay, so that's going to be fighting. That's what we need to do next to kind of unlock the next bit of the game. We need to get that sorted. However, we do have a job now. We need to move these down into here because the inspector guy can't see those barrel things or else he is going to, uh, he is going to be very suspicious. So let's grab that. Let's grab that. And let's grab that. I assume we can hold all three. Yay, it's splendid. Right, come down here. We'll drop those off in here, and then we're going to need to go and have a bit of a sleep, which is fine. Right, barrels. Okay, one barrel. They can go right at the back. They can cut right into the corner. That'd be great. Yeah, there we go. So uh, gasoline, gasoline, and then oil. They can sit right at the back, not taking up too much room. There we go. Wonderful stuff. And now it is time for yet another Mr. Prepper nap. There we go. There's just an airship moving a house. You know, like you do. Airship shipping houses around. That's how things work, isn't it? That's how it works in Murrickville. Okay, how about then? We do need to have a little bite to eat. So let's run down here for now. Let's have that other smoothie. We'll have that. Those beets are going off. Those beets are going off. Is there anything we can do? How many beets do you need to make a soup? Oh, three. That's very unfortunate. 
We could, do you know what? We could make a um, we could make a carrot soup. We could make a carrot soup. If we do this, we've got ourselves enough carrots, I think, to make a carrot soup. So we'll do that. We'll grab some more water because surely we're allowed to have at least some water. And there we go. We'll make ourselves one lot of carrot soup, which is nice. So there we go. Carrot soup sorted. Pop that into the fridge along with the carrots and possibly the blueberries as well crikey we're we're pushed for space in the fridge we might need to make another fridge at some point okay and then we've got some some tinned tuna i think which wood have we got only seven can we make a little storage box now can we make ourselves a little kind of storage unit type thing can we make anything like that can we make a, a box or a cupboard or something like that where are these things um a shelf Perfect shelf for displaying items. Okay, do we want a shelf or do we want... I was kind of thinking more of a box. Or one of the little... Maybe we can't make those yet. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, a shelf requires three things. Three bits of wood. And he'll like that because that's preparedness. Okay, where can we put a shelf? We can put a shelf just... Can't put it there. We can put them anywhere over there. Can we put the shelf above... Yeah, hang on. Let's just put a shelf above those things. Oh, that, that looks quite nice. I like that. And then on here, can we put the can we put the tuna on the shelf? Can, can we do that? No. We can't put a tin of tuna on a shelf. No, that, that that's a no-go, isn't it? That's not going to happen. Never mind. It looks good, though. I like the fact that it looks nice with a shelf above those things. I just don't know what to put on the shelf, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. I thought we might be able to make a quick table. But unfortunately, yeah, the tables are five bits of wood... And we've only got four. Okay, not to worry. Never mind. I think what we might need to do is, the hour is relatively late. Yes, Mr. Prepper's not overly tired and he's not overly hungry. But I think what we might need to do is, we might need to go and have a bit of a sleep. And then we'll have to cover this up as well. In fact, let's do that now. Let's cover up the um, cover up the hatch. So there we go. We've got ourselves a nice little sort of uh, a nice rug there covering the hatch. The only thing is, it looks a bit silly with that one. Hang on, can we grab that rug? And just move that over a bit. Can we just put it sort of yeah there? That looks a bit better. It looks a bit more natural. So that's by the by the sort of yeah the foot of the sort of couch sofa thing, and that one's over here by this little cupboardy thing. Yeah. Okay. Right. Happy with that. So tomorrow is inspection day. I think everything should be okay. I don't think there is anything that the agent is going to find suspicious. So I think with that done, we will go and get a relatively early night for Mr. Prepper. Go and have a nice bit of sleep. And then, um, yes, we're all ready for the inspection tomorrow. And there we go. So the next day has rolled around. And what we'll do is we will finish up with Mr. Prepper for the moment because it saves when you go to sleep. So that's quite a good point to sort of leave it. And we'll come back and deal with our first inspection next time out. But yeah, I think we've covered everything. I think everything is going to be fine. But things are looking okay. We've got ourselves a little sort of uh, little growing area in. A great big bit of space just here where we can put all sorts of bits and bobs. Our plan is underground. The workbench is underground. So, you know, it's looking good. It's looking good so far. The next big thing we need to do, apart from survive our first inspection, is to go and kill this wolf. If we go and kill the wolf, that then unlocks various other bits and bobs. We can get Jenny's cabin. Then we can get all the seeds out. We can do some more planting and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's the next big thing that we need to get done. We need to go and have ourselves a bit of a fight with a wolf. But that's fine. We've got a baseball bat. How difficult can it be to go and kill a, a wolf and actually a number of wolves, isn't it? But it'll be fine. We will muddle our way through. We'll make sure that we take some food with us. When we arrive, we will eat a lot of stuff to make sure we have a maximum health bar. It can be full as anything. And then we'll go and fight some wolves. I think that will make sense. But yes, we will do all of that kind of stuff next time out. Hopefully you are enjoying this. I am loving being back with Mr. Prepper. It is splendid to come back. And I know we've seen this bit before. I know we've seen the setup of Mr. Prepper. We've seen this particular bit a couple of times now, really. But I think we need to go through it again. I want to make sure that we're able to, you know, remember what all the story was and have one sort of continuous run through of the tale of Mr. Prepper. And I think as well, because we sort of know what's coming, we sort of know that we need to go and fight the wolf and we need to do various other bits and bobs because we have played through a little bit of this before, then we can get through it relatively quickly. Like I think it took us quite a few days last time to go and fight the wolves, whereas now it might well be day whatever on seven or eight or whatever where we go and fight the wolves. So then we can, yeah, we can move things on a little bit quicker. But of course, yeah, we want to sort of play through it all 
just to make sure that we know what we're doing with it and we get a full picture of the entire journey of Mr. Prepper from his you know, attempted escape through to whatever awaits him at the end of the story. I do not know, but I'm looking forward to finding out and I hope you are too. If you have enjoyed this, then please do leave a like. That would be most splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Mr. Prepper. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Let's throw that at you. That might get you. That's a beautiful shot. Oh, that's a, that, this is an unpleasant angle, Trish. Can you just fall in the water, please? This is this is this is the best box. This is my favourite box of the game so far. Oh no 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 no! It, it is hurting me. It's hurting me a lot. Very uh, interesting way of doing your medical examinations. What Who's examining who? <laughs>